Put your game face on. Five, four, three, two, one. Hello, mate. Hello, everybody, all right? Yeah, you? Good, good, good. Yeah, good. Well, episode one. What has happened? What is going on? The last six months. <laughs> the last six months. Jesus, what? I know. What is? And it's just them being the most peculiar time, I think, for everyone. It's like a movie um, style year, isn't it? Really bad killer bee movie. Yeah, <laughs> really killer bad yeah. bee movie. We're just waiting for the thing to come out of the fucking lake and uh, take us all out. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a weird one. It's certainly been a weird one. Especially I thought 2017 was weird. Yeah. With the. You know, with all those celebrities dying. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, with the, 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 every day. It was like a culling. It was yeah, like a culling wasn't it's it? Like it was someone like celebrity culling. Higher power. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's when my stepdad first got cancer, and he went, "Oh shit." That's it. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a weird one, wasn't it? Yeah, but nobody, no, nobody could have predicted uh, 2020 apart from the Mayans or the uh, Aztecs, I suppose. Bizarre. Yeah, Just weird one. Bizarre. Kicked off with a fire in Australia. Yeah. And then bam into a bat eating lockdown. Have you, have you, have you, have you there's so many different, um, I was going to use the word conspiracies. Yeah. Of where it came from, who started it. Yeah. Was it the Chinese? Was it the Russians? Was it the Americans? Yeah. Um, Brett Weinstein, the yeah. biologist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Has probably come up with the most kind of convincing theory. What did he say? Well, he studied bats for for years, um, and in particular viruses within bats, right, right. and how they can jump from human from bats to humans because bats are host to huge amounts of viruses because they don't affect them. Okay. So, and what he said is a virus doesn't want to make its host poorly right, doesn't right. want to kill its host what it wants to do is live and grow live and grow and uh, you know and, and reproduce onto as many other organisms as possible okay. so it actually doesn't want you know it wants a healthy host because right, it, right. that way the infection rate will be greater yeah so bats are huge carriers of infection um, and he having studied years of virology and years of you know how bats work and how they interact jumping from humans is not easy okay. you know, this is this isn't a simple oh, it's just jumped into a in a right. pangolin and then it's gone into the food chain and all of a sudden we've all got covid-19 right right sars cov2 yeah yeah he thinks it's it's a, it's a a virus that was manipulated Okay. Within a laboratory, and it's got out accidentally. And okay, coincidentally, the um, laboratory in China is in Wuhan, a couple of miles away from the market. But that is a if if it did come from that, yeah. Then that is a global research station. That is everyone's fault. That isn't the Chinese fault. Well, yeah, I, I did see that. Everybody's like, responsible for that because it's a it's a coalition of countries. That goes into it. Researching into virology, yeah. yeah. I, saw, I saw that 12 months earlier it got fined for bad hygiene practices. So I think it had like a couple of million pound fine for... Like Gosport for, Kebab. Like, yeah, yeah. Same same owners, same company. Same principles. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but yeah, so I mean, I mean, yeah. I mean, you, you, look at, you look at a year 12 months earlier, they got they got fined for bad practices and then 12 months later in Wuhan a virus leaks out and... Mm. But he, he said the way... It, reacts to ultraviolet for instance it dies almost instantly upon yeah, I heard that, yeah. a virus that's a natural virus from the wild from a bat will be resistant to okay. UV to right. sunlight to UV yeah this isn't so it's if, if it's if it's in a laboratory it doesn't know sunlight it doesn't know UV. and I'm butchering this and I'm not a virologist yeah yeah but it dies almost instantly upon contact with UV from the yeah. sun. Therefore, he thinks it's an, it's accidentally been released, been released. from, yeah. and that's why it spread so rapidly as well. Yeah. Designed to be 
to spread in a, in a, in a laboratory, under laboratory conditions. So they don't want something that takes forever to, to, to you know, embed into a host. They want something that they can jump from one animal to another, from a rat to a mouse to a monkey. Yeah. They want it to be able to transmit really easily. That's how it's transmitted into humans so easily. That's his theory. And he's not married to anything. He's not married to any government kind of institution. Yeah. And he just seemed quite plausible, really. And he's, you know, I'm not saying he's right. I'm not saying he's wrong before I start getting the anti-vaxxers yeah. jumping down my throat and the, you know, the pandemic people Jim sending Brian. horse heads to my house because I don't agree with them. Yeah. <laughs> But, uh, but as a result, yeah, what, yeah nice horse cheeks. Nice horse um, cheeks. As a result, whatever has happened, it's affected the world. It's crippled the world. Yeah. And the the restaurant industry. But from when you burn back the stubble, you make way for next year's crop. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And it's like a quote from uh, Warren Buffett when they said, "When the tide goes out, that you can see who's been swimming naked." Oh, was, uh, that's brilliant. Yeah. You texted me that the yeah, other day. Yeah, that, was, yeah. that was brilliant. It's genius. But it does kind of show up who's um, which, <clears throat> which which players in the game are suddenly shutting their doors during this. Yeah. If your if your business is a bit poorly, then um, that's not me fighting. That's my dog dreaming under Definitely, the under yeah. the table. Um, dreaming of bats. <laughs> Chasing bats. Really hear us talking. Yeah. Um, if your ba- if your business is a bit poorly, this now is the time to go. Do you know? Let's shut it down. Yeah. Use this as an excuse. Yeah. Walk away with your head held high. Yeah. It wasn't our fault. Caught. It wasn't our fault. But exactly. Yeah. Byron Burger is the latest one. I think yeah, to yesterday. call yeah. call time. Yesterday. Yeah. So who's 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 gone so far? We've had Rick Stein shut a couple down. Yeah. I think that's more to do with you just there is two worst performing yeah yeah shed a bit of weight shop. yeah absolutely and you know Rick's a very shrewd businessman yeah Jack's is his son is you know he's also responsible for that yeah kind of the empire outside of Padstow Jack's not a stupid guy you know yeah. they're not idiots yeah um, the Ledbury yeah. another one that that's puzzles me you've got that girl up in Manchester who I've been trying to get hold of yeah no, no response not interested um, it's probably sat there with a bottle of whiskey and she can drown in your sorrows. Empty, yeah, empty well, she's sitting there thinking, oh, fuck, I haven't got rid of all that. Thank fuck I've shed all that off. Yeah, me. yeah, yeah. I can sleep at night now. Yeah, I haven't yeah. got. Just I haven't, be skipping through the fields. Sort of I haven't got to be ringing HMRC every day asking for time to pay on your VAT and <laughs> your PAYE. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and so there's her. Who else? Yes, yeah, Boren Burgers, mate, as well. I didn't read the whole article, though. I think they're closing down the whole. The whole sh- Whole lots being put into on the verge of administration, so they're looking at the whole. They're looking whole, for a buyer. Yeah. But who's going to buy a crippled burger, um, burger business? Burger joint. No. And I've, heard, I've read lots of things where people have been saying this is the end for restaurants. Restaurant, you know, their restaurants will close down. No, they won't. No, no. Things will change for a little while. Yeah. People's public confidence needs to be, be reassured. Reassured, and that's going to be what. 12 months 6 yeah. 12 months yeah do you think by Christmas people are going to be want to be sitting outside having dinner on terraces it's going to be some serious gas heat on the go in there exactly 